We are the keepers of the flame, the sacred order. Let the ceremony begin. And today, Faithful Acolytes, we take a look at this. And what this is from Heinz, it is the 57 Collection Infused Honey with Hot Chili. Everybody is getting into the Hot Chili Act. I've done a lot of them. A lot of them, I tell you, I tell you, I tell you, you can find them in the Spicy Sweets playlist. Maybe I'll even do a hot honey playlist because this category continues to grow. It is one of the fastest growing categories in the spicy segment. Well, we got national acts that are jumping into the fray as well. So, all right, so we have honey, vinegar, cayenne pepper, puree, cayenne pepper, salt, vinegar, okay. And so that's not why I got this. I got it because of this, the chili pepper extract. So I'm cu I was curious, like cayenne, we all know is not particularly hot, but throwing in a little dab of extract. Interesting, oh boy, that smells, wow. That smells kind of wild, it smells chemically. Huh, this, uh, Huh, huh, I say. She reminds me of the Bushwick Kitchen hot honey, which had uh, habanero extract in it. Uh, you can check out the review for that as well, which I believe may be up by the time this is posted. If not, stay tuned, it'll be coming shortly. Uh, I hope this doesn't have that chemical aftertaste to it. This is a bear. A bear, a bear I tell you to find. You can see we've got really nice looking honey here, usual honey color, with little bits and pieces of particulates in there. Can you pick those out? Yeah, I guess you kinda can. Hmm. Hmm. I'm I'm uh I don't mind telling you, I'm a little nervous here. But uh only one, way, only one way to find out, let's get on into it. The salt is interesting. That is fascinating. That's a really, wow, that is really, really interesting. There's a lot of tanginess to this. And I'm wondering, yeah, so they use the, the cayenne pepper puree. Probably a mash. That is really, really, really interesting. And, and like you have to look for like you have to you have to really work to find this. I have yet to see it on a store shelf. Which is kind of weird considering it's high. Do you think they'd roll it out everywhere? But wow, that is I have never had a honey quite like this. Very, very interesting. All right, so we got here a piece of toast. And we've got, I don't need that. I don't know why I have a fork. Yeah, a knife. We've got here some chicken strips. And we're gonna throw these chicken strips on into the honey. That is so odd. It's not particularly hot. Very little heat. Infused honey. It's 
I think they also have a truffle on the end of that same line. Which I haven't looked for, I don't care about that. I'm at a loss. I can't decide if I like this or not. <laughs> Not bad. It's just kind of strange. It's almost like the honey doesn't quite know what it wants to be. It definitely is a little bit skewed almost towards a hot sauce. It's definitely one of the more savory honeys, if that makes any sense. They're so jarring. So t the tanginess and the saltiness of it is really more what's kind of jarring. Like there's no, not getting a lot of kind of flavor. No real heat to speak of. There is a little bit of a chemical in nature to this though. It's slight compared to a lot of the other Honey's I've had. And honey, I don't think is a good thing to use extract in. Honey to me is not a very forceful flavor. It's very susceptible to a lot of elements, which is why things like, you know, wildflower honey and clover honey and things like that, there's a marked difference in flavor. I don't know what this is. It might be a blended honey. It's fairly neutral. It's just... I don't understand what they're doing with this. With this. <laughs> that might be the biggest issue I have here. I don't understand. Like, where, where is it meant to be used? Like it's not sweet on the level where you'd find in the honey aisle or with the other honeys. Although the packaging suggests that it probably was meant to go there. Maybe. But would you put truffle honey then there also? Maybe that's why it's not showing up on shelves because then we can figure out where to put it. But it's not savory to the point of being like a, a sauce, like a hot sauce. It still reads more or less like a honey. Just a really odd one. It's like Heinz developed a sauce that Goes in no man's land. <laughs> All right. Toast. What are we going to do with toast? Well, you know what we're doing with toast. You know. We're going to see how this works in terms of peanut butter and honey. I wish this had some heat to it. It really doesn't. Kind of disappointing.
But that was, you know, that was always, a, it's not marketed as a hot honey. It's marketed as a chili infused honey, which is meaningless. But because there's no word hot or spicy in there, I think we can infer that they're meaning it to be something other than a hot honey. Certainly chili infused suggests that there should be some heat there and the, and the fact that there's the presence of extract suggests that as well. But it really is not hot. There's no, no heat to be had here. The heat covers the bear. Let's see how it does. Peanut butter and honey. I think I over toasted this bread, it doesn't seem to want to soak in. Yep, my toaster is turning evil. Wow. I'll use it. This is a strange, strange product. I don't know what else to say. I guess if you find yourself eating honey, And go, damn, I wish this honey had more tang to it. There you go. <laughs> it's kind of like they saw a trend. I saw a trend. Wanted to jump on it. We couldn't quite decide what they wanted to do. They just knew they wanted to be part of it. I wish I try the peanut butter and honey by itself. They want a pizza. All right, here, here's where we're, here's where they're a factory fifty seven creation, whatever factory fifty seven is. Pizza or savory dishes, bacon, fried chicken, head up fried chicken, roasted vegetable, uh, addition to glazes and marinades. So I guess it's not supposed to be a sweet thing. It's supposed to be meant to use, meant meant to be used in savory stuff. Uh, I don't like honey on pizza. It's not a, not a big favorite of mine. I think it's a, a little bit too hyper sweet for pizza for me. But maybe I'll try it with this one. I'll just try a piece, just because. I don't know what else to do with it. Well, all right. Uh, I mean, I'll probably slug through this, but wow. Honestly, this is kind of a mess of a product. We have a honey with some very, very substantial savory elements in it. And it just comes, it just reads as jarring. Just every time, just, ah, what the hell am I eating? And I think they probably should have been a little bit more judicious with the puree and just throwing everything in there. Strain it, just use the peppers if that's what you want to use. Or, 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 hear me out. 
Or, hear me out now, get the honey, and if you're going to infuse peppers in it, just throw the peppers in there. Throw the peppers in there. Right? This isn't that complicated. And then you can throw your extract in there if you want to, and then you just have honey and the peppers and then maybe the extract, and you have nothing really getting in the way. There's a lot of conflict in this uh, in this honey, and uh, I don't think that always results in a good sauce. Certainly didn't here, but uh, this I've had my eye on this for a while, and, and I guess it's another one I'll check off the list and leave it at that. So there it is, the Heinz Fifty Seven Collection Infused Honey with Hot Chilies. Now go for. In peace, to serve the flame.